I just saw this pop up my shit. What is it's he? just a quick thing, but remember that dude Salt Bay who would oh, go like yeah, this and drop salt? Is he like getting? I don't know, not canceled, but like. I don't know, bro. That's why I want to watch this because yeah. I I remember him and he had a restaurant and shit. Salt Bay's empire is collapsing, bro. Uh, what? Restaurant closures, rapidly declining reviews, and his lowest growth on Instagram in over six years. Things have gone from bad to worse for Salt Bay, which is best observed by looking at each controversy up until this unfavorable point. His right, first time in hot water came workout, just months after workout, Salt Bay first went viral. Go ahead. Um, Everything weighted. Weighted dips, weighted push-ups. How do you do weighted push-ups? Just put the weights on your back. Somebody put it on your back. How many push-ups you do a day? Uh, I've been slacking, but I usually do 100, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. So, like, you do that all in the same, like, time frame? Yeah, I do 30, take, like, a two-minute break, 25, break, 20, break, 15, break, 10. Hmm. I can't do 100 just straight. Yeah, that's, that's OD. People can, though, not me. Me, I could do dips. That's my. That's Bro, my they say if you do 200 sit ups and push ups a day, you'll literally expand your life by like fucking like 10 years, bro. Yeah. What was that song? That's uh, that's my baby, Peggy. Uh, all right, let's see. Occurring when fans scroll back through his Instagram to find Castro? this photo commemorating the life of Fidel Castro in the days after his death. At around the same time, Salt Bay had recently opened a steakhouse in Miami, a city to which approximately 500,000 Cubans had fled to as a result of Castro's leadership. Some people just don't think to post pics like this and then open a restaurant in Miami. Really? I just called and cancelled two reservations and told them how I feel about their salt guy and his post. Picture posted a few days after Castro's death. Nice thought, WTF. He should open in Cuba and sprinkle his salt over there. The comments on the post itself echoed a similar sentiment, leading Salt Bay to remove the picture. However, he'd find himself in a similar controversy less than a year later. In September 2018, Salt Bay came under scrutiny once again for providing a feast to the Venezuelan president, who governs a country in which 64% of people have reported losing significant amounts of weight, 11 kilos or 24 pounds on average, amid worsening food shortages. What? As a Venezuelan, it angers me seeing my president feasting on a meal while me and my family were starving. I cannot believe this video. This guy eating tomahawk steaks or whatever that is, and the people from his country dying of hunger. Food tastes so much better when you know the folks back home are starving. After the Venezuelan- But this is, like, I'm not defending this guy, but I understand, like, so you're, so if you're the president, like, you can't eat food? I, I, like, is that bad? Nah, yeah, that's that's crazy. He's just fucking having a good time eating food. Like what? Like you can't eat a meal? <laughs> can't eat a fucking tomahawk steak? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, oh, so you're not allowed to eat now? Get your money up. <laughs> and, like, is he the one? Pr like, again, this one, I'm like, I don't even know this guy, but is he making like so nah, no I, one can I, eat I, food? I, I think, like, I think I've heard that the president is a piece of shit, though. Oh, know. then he, okay, then fuck that guy then. Yeah, I, I think I don't know president then explained that Salt Bay had personally invited him to the restaurant. Protest broke out in front of Salt Bay's Miami restaurant with one sign reading, did you know Salt Bay that in the time it took you to wine and dine dictator Maduro with your bloody meat, at least one Venezuelan child died of extreme malnutrition. However, this might not have even been Salt Bay's biggest controversy for the month. Only eight days after these protests, a new article was posted reading, four tourists are set on fire at Instagram star Salt Bay's Istanbul restaurant, which had happened as a result of a fire show gone wrong. One of the tourists who'd been set on fire was a Czechoslovakian there YouTuber and model fire. named Tynus Tresnikova, who suffered burns to more than 35% of her body and can be seen with slight but visible burn scars on her fuck? Instagram even Yo, to this day. Her 23 minute video on the topic, translating to the moment that changed my life, is unfortunately spoken in Czechoslovakian what? without subtitles. Yo, However, an article posted a year after the incident stated that Tynus had received no compensation 
compensation for the mistake, and that the restaurant had instead destroyed all evidence related to the incident. Salt Bay did eventually pay out $230,000 in compensation, although not to Tynus for permanently altering her appearance, but rather to four mistreated employees in Salt Bay's next big controversy. The four employees claimed that Salt Bay was taking 3% from their total tips, which was followed by Salt Bay firing the four employees after being confronted about it. As a result, the employees launched a wrongful termination lawsuit, explaining that their former boss had an authoritarian, dictatorial attitude who doesn't care about local laws. They even suggested Salt Bay likened himself to Tony Montana and humiliated them on occasions in the lawsuit. Yet Salt Bay responded by stating, I don't get a share of the employees' tips. I've never done that in any of my restaurants. I was not satisfied with the performance of the four employees. They didn't match my understanding of work. They weren't as good as I wanted, so I terminated their contract right away. Yet these four employees weren't the only ones claiming that they'd been mistreated while working for Salt Bay. A former employee at the Nusret restaurant in London described it as gold from the outside but shit from the inside, whilst another compared the working environment to the Hunger Games, as staff never knew if they'd be fired during a shift, with what? a third likening the restaurant tour to a dictator. Former employee Frank DeFano stated that he was treated poorly as a result of being American, while another former manager explained, his world was nothing but Instagram and fame. The sensation was him. He ended up getting this godlike complex, highlighting Salt Bay's next big problem. With massive artworks of his one viral moment, and every third Instagram picture being him working out shirtless, it seems Salt Bay is just a bit too full of himself, and while some degree of ego might be necessary for success, he takes it to a whole new level. When interviewed by the Times in 2019, Salt Bay seemed convinced that every kid wanted to be him, stating, now everybody wants to be a butcher because of me. Now if you ask a kid, they want to be Salt Bay. They see me as an idol. I'm an inspiration to a lot of people in a very short period of time, also always taking the opportunity to brag about money. Salt Bay had posted an $8,000 bill as well as a different $47,000 bill, yet the picture that really kicked up a stink was the $167,000 bill posted to Salt Bay's Instagram with the title Quality Never Expensive. The opulent bill mixed with his arrogant description prompted comments such as, I have eaten in your restaurant, quality is questionable, and I've eaten there, the food was not good, with this sentiment being echoed by countless different people. YouTube channel Google Foods ordered the $2,000 steak before stating this, It was not what we expected. For two grand, I gotta say, I thought it would be way bigger. Also adding that the $275 tomahawk steak had been cooked incorrectly. That was rare, even though we ordered medium rare. Now there's nothing wrong with rare steak, but if you order medium rare, you should get what you paid for. A different YouTuber, UA Eats, who was looking to give a purely objective was, review, stated that the waiter's performance was fun, yet the quality Listen, of the- Listen, I like, I like some blood. Too much blood though? Nah, yeah. Ah. I like, I, I get my medium. Yeah, medium. It was no better than medium any well, other steakhouse. Medium. On TripAdvisor, Salt Bay's London restaurant is ranked at 15,200 out of 15,700 <laughs> restaurants, with its rating of 2.5 stars, making it worse than 96.8. Oh my god, it's the worst steakhouse in London percent of all other restaurants in the city. The steakhouse features predominantly terrible and one-star reviews, with most complaining about horrible quality, bad service, and so incredibly expensive for such a bad quality of food. This guy was upset after the restaurant charged him 44 British pounds for four Red Bulls. However, at least he didn't call the police after finding out the price, which is what happened over in Florida. Whilst eating at Salt Bay Steakhouse in Miami, Dwayne Miranda ordered two standard $275 tomahawk Tomahawk steaks, yet he was instead unknowingly presented with two golden tomahawk steaks, being charged more than $5,000 for his meal when he eventually got to the counter. We ordered two tomahawk steaks and a rack of lamb for the table. When the bill came, we were shocked by the total. They insisted that we ordered the golden option and charged us $1,000 for each. We absolutely did not order that option. Although we did eat what was brought to the table, thinking this was the normal presentation for our order, it was clear that the waiter was trying to take advantage of the situation. After disputing the misunderstanding with management, they decided to involve local law enforcement rather than do the right thing. We paid the disputed $5,000 bill to avoid further conflict, yet this was still minor in comparison to what happened at Salt Bay Steakhouse in Boston. After opening up on the 18th of September 2020, the restaurant quote almost immediately began racking up health code violations. City inspectors reported that COVID-19 safety guidelines were being flouted, crowds were not social distancing, two fire exits 
toilets were blocked, permits were not in order, the dishwasher was not running hot enough, and the refrigerators were apparently too cold, leading the government to shut the restaurant down you know only one week after opening. In no, the meantime, Salt Bay posted this seemingly like wholesome barbecue. family photo to his Instagram, <laughs> yet this would also end in another wave of criticism. Likes, thank you. Turkey chef Salt Bay meets mother after two years, criticized for not looking after her. It seems Salt Bay was getting loads of backlash in every situation, regardless of whether or not he deserved it. For example, when a waiter at one of his restaurants accidentally dropped a steak, Salt Bay was getting roasted in the comments by people saying that he was going to charge them twice. People simply didn't like him, so when he'd actually do something deplorable in December 2022, the bad. whole world took it as a chance to completely and utterly destroy him. Bad. After this Argentina beat Who France in the World like Cup final, her. Salt Bay waltzed onto the field as if he was everybody's best friend. He pestered Messi for a photo, snatched the World Cup from a baby, and bit down on one of the winner's medals, prompting negative nah. comment after negative comment, as well as an instant response from the media who wrote, Salt Bay was pathetically thirsty to get World Cup selfies and pissed off Argentina in the process. Only a day later, the FIFA president unfollowed Salt Bay on Instagram before launching an investigation into how Salt Bay was allowed on the field, revealing that only the World Cup winners and heads of state are allowed to touch the trophy during the closing ceremony, let alone kiss and disrespect it. The next day, Salt Bay tried to show that he and Messi were friends by posting a video of them together in his steakhouse. However, comments such as old video where Messi made a mistake visiting your restaurant showed that fans definitely weren't buying it. Excluding this video, Salt Bay provided no response to his World Cup behavior until just one month ago like, oh, when he'd finally cringe. talk about yeah, the event in a tell-all interview. He stated, it was a combination of my love of Argentina and my excitement. I love Argentina. I've lived there. I went to support them. Many of the team have come to the restaurant. I didn't feel a stranger. It was a special moment. I can't do anything about the reason I was there, but I would never ever step on the World Cup pitch again. There were 2 billion people watching the World Cup. How many people are speaking about me? 5 billion, the whole world. I didn't go on the pitch with the purpose of advertising. I just felt like it. Then there was a bit of a surprise. There were at least another thousand people on the pitch, but when they show the video, they make out it was just me. I never ever wanted to overshadow anything. I didn't like the attention, with the possible motive for the explanation being that things haven't been going so well for Salt Bay ever since that day. Just two weeks prior to giving that interview, Salt Bay had to close down his self-titled Salt Bay Burger Restaurant in New York City, which had gained a reputation for selling $99 gold-flaked milkshakes and a $100 burger wrapped in gold foil. On top of this, it's been reported that Salt Bay Steakhouse in Greece is now receiving a third of the bookings it used to, from 600 per day to approximately 200 per day, while his London Steakhouse, which we discussed earlier as having some of the worst reviews in the city, recently announced that they'd be reducing their prices in, quote, what appears to be a desperate bid to entice customers back through its doors. Over the last six months, Salt Bay has gained approximately 300,000 followers per month, and while this is still a bafflingly high number for someone who seemingly does very little, this is the lowest growth he's had on social media since first blowing up in January 2017. I mean, dude, listen. This guy got famous from a meme, bro. And I was thinking about this. Um... I was thinking about this earlier. Now, today's internet, some people who got famous for like a meme or some shit like that would never get famous in today's internet. Because now there's a hundred funny videos every fucking day on, on TikTok and whatever. No one would give a fuck about Salt Bay now. God damn, this fucker got 52 million followers. 52 mil? Yeah. You? Really? Me, chat? Me? Me, bro. I just said a meme. You're talking about me, dude. Um, 